is Susan Davis and I'm the costume director at Seattle Opera. I'm here to tell you a little bit about our costumes for our upcoming Eugene Onegin. The costumes in Eugene Onegin are full of all sorts of beautiful details and fabrics from rich velvets to iridescent silks and satins. The two sisters, Tatiana and Olga, wear light-colored dresses, typical of the period. As time passes through the opera, about five years, the next time we see Tatiana is as a married woman, and she's wearing a stunning red silk dress with its rich velvets and satin, the beaded sleeves, and the jeweled trim. When we first meet Eugene Onegin, he is introduced to Lorena and her daughters, and he's recently moved to the country and also wearing browns and earth tones. Later in the opera, he's wearing all black. It's a pretty serious scene. It's a riding outfit. Our chorus play three different roles in this opera. They begin as the peasants celebrating the harvest in their traditional Russian dress. When we see them act two, they're guests at Madame Lorena's house in a country ball, and they're wearing suits and gowns, typical of the period. When we get to act three, we've moved to the city, St. Petersburg. The dress has gotten more formal, and the colors are richer jewel tones and blacks and grays. Since our opera has parties, it has dancing. And in act three, the women with their trains have loops on their trains so they can carry them on their wrists and uh, not trip up themselves or their partners as they're swirling around the dance floor. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the theater and having you enjoy these beautiful costumes for Eugene Onegin.